Hello, everyone, and hi, Colonel. Hi, Lulu. Hello, everyone. So last time we left with this scale here, we tried to put some food on it because the hen was talking about food or something. The hen who shares a feed receives a great second helping. Yeah. But it turned out it didn't have anything to do with food at all. Well, it could be if you have some very expensive food, but you have to put something that is worth 500 gold on it. Or more. Or oh. more. Oh, there's a chest. Yep. So there it goes. Ooh, the chest is weird, but there it is. Oh, and the gold is gone. Oh. Of course it's gone. Ah. Uh. How much oh, gold where, where could it be gone? I put seven or no, five hundred and seventy oh, or something. That's good. Holy, okay. Is it good? Is it good? I'm sending it to you so you can have a look. I don't know because it needs to be identified, but I mean, it was yellow, so that's very good. Oh, okay. Oh man, let's see. So it is plus bodybuilding plus dual wielding. I'm sending it to you, and you mm. decide what to do with that thing. Yep. Dual wielding. That may be good for Yeon. Yeah, I think so, because it gives him, it takes less action points for him to attack when he's having two weapons on, or two, uh, two thingies. For every attack, or is it, uh, is it for spells as well? Uh, only attacks with his, with his uh, Sp wands. Yeah, wands. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Let's see, I'm going to give that to Jay. There we go. Oh man, this area is so pretty. <laughs> yeah. Man, look at these leaves on the floor. They are Cool. I don't know what they yeah. are though. Is the, this uh like reddish orange, orange leaves? Yeah. yeah. Look like. So I was thinking. Ma maple. Uh, maybe? Yeah, it might be. So up ahead, it looks like there's some some bridges. But do you want us to fight these mud huntresses before, or should we just leave them be? Be peaceful on the little island. Oh, I don't see the mud huntresses though. Are they? What are what? Hmm? So they're on a little island in the river here. Oh, they. Oh man, this. There's oh, four this of them. is so cool. I love this. I love this area. Yeah. I'm going ahead. You should go ahead first, though. So I should go? Okay. Mm -hmm. you're, you're, you're sending me in front of them. Okay. You're the tank sure. here. Oh, don't yep. send Yan first. Nope. Uh, Yan is walking Oh, there. that's what they are. You didn't tell yep. me they were spiders. Oh, they are. Are they spiders? Uh, they're crabs yeah. with, with shells. But no, well, I don't no, know. No, they're spiders. Yeah, they're having too many legs to be crabs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, that. how many of them are there? Just this one? I think it's four. Yeah, there's gotta be more. I don't see the other no. one. Those. No, they they walked back when they when we came. We we scre we we scared them a bit. Okay. Well, I am not gonna use my skills right now. Nope. Oh. That was not a crit. Nope. I forgot to use as well my karma skill. I'm gonna use that next turn. Oh yeah. See what how that works. Oh, there's the other ones. Yep, they are. Ahead. They are ugly things. Yep, they really are. Let's see, I'm probably going to do this because I think that's going to help us the most. So let's see, are they resistant to anything? They are weak to fire and air, so let's see, can I use any air skills? No, not right now. Let's just walk up ahead and get a better position then. And end turn. Nope, oh, of course they ranged. Yep. Well, that wasn't a lot oh. of damage. So it looks like it's five of them actually. Oh uh, yeah, it's five. Yeah, yeah I, I thought it was only four. I didn't count that. <laughs> well, it wasn't that fast. <laughs> Man. So, they are trying to shoot us, and then they walk up in melee range. So I don't know if they're really ranged, or if they're just, like, semi-ranged, I guess. It might be a spell. Yeah, that's true as well. Uh, no, probably not, though, because they wouldn't be able to attack it uh, with it twice. Uh, probably not, no. And they can walk around for a long bit as well. Yeah. Man, it's a lot of damage that they deal, though. Yeah. They're pretty buff, but... They have a lot of action points, apparently. Yeah. Indeed, they do. Oh, come on. Stop it now. Just get over here so we can kill you. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> and now this one. Oh. Is he an attack? Did he no, he was stunned. Oh, he's... oh, that's right. Okay, so, uh, first things first. Let's use the Karma... Mm -hmm. Where is it? There it is. Oh, I don't have range on anybody on everybody. Let's move up oh. a little bit to there. Now, nope, need to move up a little bit more. <laughs> now, there you go. Mm. Some call it luck. Lucky. Call it oh, and now Critical I'm engaged. Five. Hmm. So this is bad. So bye. <laughs> bye bye. Okay. So now Medora. Let's see, crippling blow, not 
really need it for right now. A whirlwind could work, but I mm. think it do, it this is what works the best. Oh, they lined up for her perfect, mm -hmm. and three of them fell over. Now let's see how many I can attack at once. Only two. That's fine. That's fine. Yep. Ooh, double critical. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Awesome. Yeah. Man, and now we are like leprechauns. We own clubbers. Mm -hmm. Yep. Oh, man, we are badass. <laughs> that was awesome. I think I hit. Let's see. Did we did only hit one, but everyone is stunned. Everyone. <laughs> That's so amazing. Oh boy. But that is all I can do. But it was a flashy move, Jayan. So you did a good job. Oh, I think you're somebody stunned. You were stunned. Mm, I think I got the stun, but I got resistant. Resist. Mm -hmm. It looks like you're the one who's stunned. Oh, I'm the one. Yeah. Okay. Even though you are invisible, invisible. but that doesn't help. Yeah, apparently. I don't think it does. There we go. Crippled as well. Can I hit somebody with this? No, not really. Let's just stand here and hope we don't get stunned. Could it be that that double critical was because I was, I guess, the lucky? Let's I mean, see. it is increased. I'm, no, it's not what <laughs> I want. <laughs> failed. <laughs> You're trying to sneak away, Madora. Critical chance 32%. That's pretty good. Yeah. It means one third. Another critical. Should have, been, have come first, but... And now that mud huntress over there should die. Yep. Hopefully. With that, does that does work? It is at least stunned. Let's see if it can blind it, so it doesn't know anything that's going on. It will blind, stunned, and cripple this <laughs> poor guy. Ah, uh, what poor guy? The huntresses, <laughs> so they, they should be girls, right? Oh yeah, true. Oh, that girl is girl. also girl. Lady. Lady of the mud. Hmm. I thought they were gonna be oh. like earth elementals made of mud or something but mm -hmm. yeah when he said mud huntresses I was like mm, nope. yeah they hunt they're hunting mud. mud yeah <laughs> and, ooh. okay mm. I, thought, I thought you had killed it but nope nope okay so now let's see what happens I should have used my power stance which I <laughs> always forget because I'm yep. that good <laughs> <laughs> we're not getting used to that we're, we're getting used to you forgetting about it so something would be wrong if you would remember it yeah <laughs> <sighs> okay, we got stuff here that's pretty... Oh, did I pick it up? No, I didn't. No, I think I took it. Since it was a wand, I was like, this is mine. Yeah, it is It is yours. Man, this place. Into the fray, oh, we could have come through this little... Yeah, I think this would be the way around if you didn't want to talk to a troll, I guess. No, 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 this is after the bridge. Oh, no, you're right. There's this one. No, I think we could like go up here and go down here. But Yeah, but hmm. we wanted to talk to the troll. Nope, we did. Uh, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep going, I guess. Yeah, so do we want to go, yeah, you're gonna go down there. I'm following you. Do you okay. I thought you we were gonna go in a different direction, maybe. No. Nope. I'm gonna join you. Okay. It looks like the city is down here, because it's like this tower that is like gazing out over the river. There, it's raining here. Nope. It's bad weather. Mm -hmm. And it's, yeah, this is the village. There's a scarecrow over here, level four. Two cats. One is Yinxia and one is Arhu. Arhu? Yep. He's in cat form over here. There's... What the hell? And... and Wharton. Oh, Let's... He's talking oh, to you're me. talking. And I saved. It's Let's cool, hope it's nothing cool. happens. Ooh. He, he's undead. Yeah. How come? And he's got very interesting equipment... Oh. He has, uh, well, he has at least one divine item. Ooh. But uh, their level might not be as good as the one in the... Oh, uh. he has two divine items. Oh, I like this one. Nice. Uh, it's for dexterity, though, so mine is better. Anyway, we're mm. going to check that later. Let's see what he has <laughs> to say. Immaculates, orcs and humans both, have taken Hunter's Edge. Its villagers are now slaves in the mines of the West, or they've been bled dry of their last drop of life, Reduced to mere fuel that must light the wicked candle that is bloodstone. Long as you live in the limbo between coming and going, though, why not have a look at what I have to sell? Indeed. To see mm. what a scouring skeleton can gather together in a dying town. So anything vital I need to know about Hunter's Hedge? Yeah. Well, don't go round anger and immaculates if you want to keep your vitals intact. <laughs> so perhaps it won't be very long before they have a stab at one another's vitals instead. I have the feeling there's trouble brewing between the orcs and the humans in there, and who can blame them, really? Just ain't natural for them to consort, I say. Only good orc. Well, you know how the phrase goes. 
<laughs> well, only a good immaculate. Yeah, well, anyway, you also know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I met a skeleton that looked like just like you. She gave me some strange weapons. I know the weapons of which you speak. I've even hidden away a piece of one myself. Oh. Hmm. My son, but well, maybe you could make better use of it now. I suppose. Do you remember who the skeleton was? I don't remember. I think it is the one who gave us the weapons, which we can upgrade with the tools or with the parts. Oh, but wasn't that back in Cyseal's beach? Yes, it was. But I think it was a skeleton as well. I th yeah, it must have been. I suppose. Man, our, our characters have good memory. Yep, <laughs> frankly. <laughs> and who are you exactly? Can't say I remember who I was before the change came over me. But these days, I'm a traveling trader of sorts. There's an immaculate necromancer in the village ahead. She's the one who brought me back from, well, wherever I was. She's an especially bright one, you know. Most necromancers can only revive a dead corpse into an animated one, but she manages to yank back some semblance of consciousness, too. I don't remember much, but the thrill of trade certainly calls to me. <laughs> Maybe I was a merchant in my former life. Who knows? These days, most undead are busy haunting Cyseal or picking the way in the Lucula mines. But I keep a low profile and stay out of sight. I haven't been bothered by an immaculate yet, and I hope to keep it that way. Okay, I'll take my leave then. Yep. Uh, do you want to check the uh, items there? Yep, I'm just going to go ahead and do it very fast. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I'm going to look at the log that we got. A skeleton outside of Hunter's Edge warned us that the village has been overrun by immaculates. Its original population has been completely eradicated. We knew that. Yep. The village looks in good shape, though, all things considered. Yeah. Oh, you're not trading oh, with him anymore? What? what no, I just I looked at, very, uh, at it very fast. Oh. So he's digging through the corpses. Hmm. There's nothing interesting <clears throat> there? In his uh, inventory or in uh, what he's selling? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, let's see, I can look at it a little bit too. Hmm. Oh, you weren't looking at it? I'm sorry, I was talking over you. Let's see. Um, well, there is this, uh, but, um, what is JN having right now? Oh, you're talking over there. Oh, yeah, but. What the hell is she talking? Mm. So, yeah, I uh, I see you found another feline friend here. Mm, oh, that bothersome old Tom. <laughs> no, he and I are hardly friendly, much less friends. I've much more important things on my mind than him and his incessant pestering. Oh, uh, it's my bad, by the way. I just now realized who that old cat was. <laughs> I, I, I thought it was like a stray cat, and I was like, mm, let me check while Luda is trading. But mm. no, this is the main, main thing here. Oh. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, tell me about yourself. Jinxica is my name. And until recently, I lived a placid sort of life among the people of Hunter's Edge. The baker might leave me a bit of milk left over from this breakfast. The barkeep stroked my back between filling glasses. I had many friends here, but none so dear as a little trio. A married pair and their daughter, employed by the wizard to keep his home. They spent many long hours swashing fleas that plagued me and shared their warm beds with me each night. If you come to this village to help and not to harm, you might be able to save those three kind souls from the orcs that have invaded. Ugh, such misery in our sad town. Mm -hmm. What do you know about this wizard? A kind but private man he is. He set up his home here several years ago, but never remained there long enough before jetting off to tend to some matter or other. The Dark Invaders seem very interested in him indeed. They've been hmm. skulking around outside the house since they arrived. But not even one of their filthy vermin can penetrate the wizard's protective enchantments. So wait a minute, they're stuck in there? Hmm. So the orcs came here for the wizard that's not been in his house. Hmm. Is that... am I getting this right? I think so, yeah. Okay, so you say the orcs invaded this place. destroyed every crumb of life they could find and sent their filthy rats to seek out those who evaded them. Each life they took infused their strange stones with power. 
Their queen glowed with delight as a parade of victims were slain before her. It was as though she was taking in a beautiful song. The human tribe came shortly after. They had their own supply of the glowing stones, and the orc queen took no easy liking to them. Still, it seems they are working towards some similar goal. They haven't destroyed one another yet. Hmm. Tell me about your friends, the, the, the wizard's servants. They've survived this carnage so far by concealing themselves most cleverly. I've done my best to guard their hiding place from the slime-bellied rats attempting to sniff them out. But I fear my efforts aren't enough. Until the village has been rid of vermin, those three sweet souls may be found at any time. So the orcs are using rats to their advantage? Savages by savages employed. The orcs have one among them. The rat catcher, they call him. Who claims to have trained rats to do his bidding. They've swarmed the place in search of hidden villagers. And unless every last one of them is split from tail to snout, they're sure to find my friends. But you're not like the brutes inside those walls. No. You approached me with hand, not boot, outstretched. Perhaps, perhaps you could help me. With these rats running about, it's only a matter of time before my friends are caught. They must be squashed, every last one of them. I've done my best so far, but there are simply too many for one set of claws to handle. With your help, though, with your help, it could be done. The rats gone, my friends. Safe. Well, I guess we're mm -hmm. hunting rats. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, okay. I'll take my leave. I can slip through these walls as I please, but you'll need to find your own way into the village. And remember, oh. my friend, kill every last rat you find, or three dear souls will be lost. So we're not inside the village yet already? <clears throat> no, it looks like there's a big wall with a gate. There's two people, a mountain warrior. Oh, two oh, mountain warriors. I see. In I front see. of it over there. Yeah. You want to talk to? Uh, do you want to talk to Aru? Yeah. Let's see what he has to say. Where is he? He's right in front of us. Aru. How can I help you, my friend? Oh. Um, yeah. Aru, what are you doing here? I'm watching on with weary eyes how the Immaculates strike again. They've gone from shedding blood among their own to recruiting orcs and cutthroats to do it for them. From what I can tell, the village of Hunter's Edge is this cult's most wretched victim. So, Sandalor lives in this village. Got any pointers for me? Hmm. Oh, that's the wizard. The yeah. End of town. Though I have my doubts he's having people over for tea now that the Immaculates have landed. Know oh. that Zandalor is wily, so beware. If so he's there. Yeah. In his home, so he is in the home, apparently. Pity the intruder that heedlessly tries to waltz his way into that dwelling. Nevertheless, his house is the very place you'll want to search. The accumulated knowledge stored there is quite phenomenal, and beyond a doubt, one of Leandra's most urgent pursuits. Mm. Uh, ask him about what he found about this place. Yep. It was once a quiet sort of village. Families and small-time merchants, mostly. Recently, it was targeted by a tribe of orcs waving the Immaculate Banner. Their leader, Grutilda, is known far and wide for her cruelty and cunning. We've, we've heard of her. She yeah. saw the murder of countless villagers and used their blood to fuel a great number of bloodstones. Once they were dead, they were reanimated as undead corpses and sent to work in the mines of Lakula. By order of Leandra, the orcs were joined by a tribe of humans from the northern peaks of Tanneroth. A band of male warriors are they, and they devote allegiance to their leader, Jarl. Jarl arrived with his own formidable supply of bloodstones, which means his tribe has been operating under directions from the conduit for some time. Where once they ransacked for base pleasure and material gain, now they do it by the will of the goddess. These are far from the blindly devoted Immaculates of Silverglen, however. 
The orcs and the humans here alternate between bitter fighting and hostile peace. Personally, I believe they're best exploited through their rivalry. Get them to fight each other, and you can stand on the sidelines and warm yourself upon the flames. I think not, my good sir. I would mm. prefer to exploit them with an arrow to the face. Mm, that sounds like a good plan. Yep. So I think that's it. We have asked about the Forgotten Gods and the Witch Sisters I before, think so. right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. So this is going to be an interesting take on, or an, an interesting location, because if we are still not inside the village, it's going to be a big city then. Yeah, I think so too. So I'm just thinking, I'm just looking over at the, the mountain warriors, and it looks like they're not hostile right away. It looks like we can actually talk to them. Mm -hmm. did, did you did, find anything over there? No, no I didn't find anything. Do, do you want um, do, do you find anything interesting to buy, or do you want to check that out again, or...? Um, no, I, I, well, I it was if if JN, but JN, hmm, he has quite quite <clears throat> good stuff already. Okay. There's a lot of barley here. Yeah, I saw that too, and and like pumpkins and stuff. Mm -hmm. Oh, what is this? A bale of hay. <clears throat> Excuse ah, me. some hay. Yeah. It's got some some heat wheat mm -hmm. inside. Oh. It's heating up. Man, these so guys. I, I, mm. Goes from warm to wet to warm again. Yeah, and I don't like it. They're like, oh, what's going on? Okay, I'll take these. Yeah. Okay, so do you want to talk to these mountain warriors of mountainous? <laughs> I guess. Oh, there are three of them. Mountain archer as well. Yeah, I'm going to stay behind. Because I think. I'm... Okay. And Let's quick save before we go over there. Mm -hmm. And. Uh... Yeah. Oh! Oh, you're talking to them already. Perfect. Oh, they have a n normal voice. Oh. Uh, so, uh, let's see. What? Oh, I have an immaculate amulet. Yeah. Let's go with that. I have okay. orders from the conduit herself to speak to the leader of this village. Come to play now the town's been taken, have you? Typical, you flatlanders. Lucky for you, the goddess don't discriminate against cowards. Well, come quickly then. There's still townsfolk on the loose, and the chase has probably made them wild as cornered dogs. One might pop out of a bush and take an eye before you can shout your own name. Better you hmm. first check in with the higher ups. You've got Jarl, the righteous leader of Weird the Mountain, and bloodstained Gratilda, queen dog of the giant toads. Trust me, <laughs> you'll know her when you see her. Hmm. Now scram and make your introductions before word gets to them. There's an intruder here. <laughs> giant toads. The toads, yeah, yeah. I thought about that too. That was pretty cool. Uh, okay. So do you want to kill them now or <laughs> should we go in? I mean, let's go in and talk to them, and then we kill them when we found out <laughs> yeah, what we can do in there, I guess. Yeah. Are you going to bring what or are you going to have to stay around? Uh, oh, yeah, I forgot about Sleeping it. Village. Did I... Got an achievement. What? Oh, I didn't. <clears throat> no, Excuse because me. you're not on Steam. Oh, yeah, I'm on Go GOG. Mm. Much to our pain, but... <laughs> yeah, not anymore, though. But not anymore, for... oh. yeah. Oh, Madora has... wants to Madora, talk. Madora, what do you want to talk about again? Conrad, <laughs> did you hear that? It sounds like these immaculates are at odds with the local orc savages. We may be able to turn this to our advantage. I'll keep a sharp eye out for anything we could use to nudge these factions closer to chaos. Oh, we're at. Get them to destroy each other. <laughs> oh, yeah, so that's you. We'll kill two birds without even having to pick up a stone. Nothing would please me more than seeing Hunter's Edge cleared of the scum that destroyed it. I may not be able to undo the past, but together... We can dole out justice for those who've suffered. Yeah. Yep. So I'm going to kill that rat. You lead the way towards our next uh, thing. Do you think it's good to kill the rats, though? Why not? Yeah. Rats! They didn't care. Okay. Oh, they did. Oh, they did. Oh. There's got to be a more subtle way to exterminate these pests. Poison ought to do the trick. But I'm fresh out of okay, so they are, they they let me off with this one. Yeah, they let you off, but they didn't like it. Mm -hmm. they, they definitely not like it. Yeah, we do already know that. If you what what are you saying? If you wanted to exterminate them, we've got to find a better way to do it. Oh, yep, some poison or something. Do you want to do this uh, this village the uh, diplomatic way rather than going all weapons ready and all sort of stuff? Um. I mean, I, I would like to find out a little bit more before we decide if we want to go guns blazing. Okay. Um, I think maybe that's... we could like t like weak them more, poison them or something as well. 
And also, we did have to get rid of the rats to find uh, to find out about the girls. I don't know. How yeah. do you feel? What do you want to do? I think that's a good plan, at least for now, and then we'll see, I guess. Yeah. Okay, where are we going, though? There's somebody here. What is that? Yeah, it's a big place, Feather so we have lots, lots of stuff to explore. Yeah, these are orcs. There's yeah. cheese. There's a cellar thing, some cheese, yeah. Painting of a man. Doesn't look like it's stealing, so I'm gonna see what happens if I take it. Yep, they don't care. Yep. Poisonous and creatures. I'm what is this? Let me read this book. So, a detailed and very and very well written book about all kinds of exotic creatures and their poisons. Oh. Nothing interesting. <laughs> So, so I mean, it looks like there's like this uh, footprint on the floor, but well, I don't know really if that is like interesting. But do you see them? I don't. Oh, you don't? I. These where? like big oh, orc prints they. on the floor. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, they're probably just the orcs messing yeah. up the place. Yeah, I was thinking maybe they that is interesting for something. Now, oh, the art of whiskey. I like that. <laughs> I do as well. Oh, there's a big st uh, a steel pot. Here. Yeah, a pot steel. Yeah, and that's for. Crafting? No, can't do anything with it. I can't. Much, yeah. What is this? Is this whiskey? No, it's just empty bottles. Okay. And you are making a little pyramid. Nice. And I was trying to. Um... Ready to no, stop, Mudra. I got a whetstone. Is that good? Oh, yes. We can use that if if we're in the field. We can use that instead of um, yeah, finding a whetstone wheel. So oh, we can that's right. Make our weapons better. And also have the axe uh, kit part three. Oh. I'm gonna give it uh, to Jehan and uh, X Kit as well. Yep. Let's see if it's better than Medora's sword. Yep. So combine with this. Combine. Man, this is a nice little. Mm. I don't know the name of this thing, but it's really nice. Yep. And the big kegs and whatever those are called. They have different names depending mm. on the size and all that and the function. Yep. Names, of course, that I do not know. <laughs> <laughs> So, Adventures X, the fourth. Let's what see. What the hell's going on with the camera? Do you see that? Oh. No. So I'm sending it back to Madora now. Oh. Do you see the camera shaking? Uh, no. No, no shaking. Oh, this is really good. Yep. This is really good. Let's see. So, I am dealing 219 to 299. Oh, it's still not as good. <laughs> no, it's still not as good, it's and it's a level cap good. on it. Oh, boy. Yeah, it's a really good weapon. It just doesn't have the fire damage. Nope. The strength and constitution is pretty good, but yeah, still not as good. <laughs> nope. That sword is so overpowered. Yep, it really is. Oh, you you went away. You left me yeah, here. I'm, I'm, I'm upstairs. So, do we want to talk about what these guys were looking for, or sure? Should we just ignore them? Nah, talk to them. Let's see, Gural. The armor key. key. What? Bend it over. Hmm. What are you doing here? In my toenails, pale lilac, of course. What does it look like, you ain't? I'm hunting for a missing key. I'm the old mother's right hand. If there's something she needs done by someone she knows can do it, I'm the one she calls. This little key ordeal, don't change that. Hmm. The armory is missing. It could prove rather worth our time to find it. Yeah, indeed. Scavenger hunter. I haven't got home. Better or worse, the resumes are growing. <laughs> it indeed is. Let me see if I can. Well, actually, you could look in this house off camera because there's a lot of crap around. Yep. And maybe you can. Oh, I cannot see it on this. <laughs> Not in this state. Nope. <laughs> and I think it might be a good idea to stop this here. Yeah. Well, it's about time to say goodbye then. Yep. We hope you guys have enjoyed it, and we'll see you next time. Bye bye. Bye. Man. Mm.